Hey everyone, Richard Payne here from Keller Williams Select Realty and Halifax Homes and Lifestyles looking at some stats for Feb and it's all good news. Like it is great to have a market that we're actually seeing moving fairly normal. Like we're not silly buyers, we're not crazy sellers, we've just got a good balanced market and that is a perfect lead in to tell you what happened for the inventory on the market at 6.6 .6 months for February which is down a month on last month so when we go from 7.6 to 6.6 .6, that's good news and also in February last year we were actually at nine months so that gives you a show as to how we've been saying for the last year that the market here has improved a lot lot better than we've been in seeing in the prior months so that's again like really good news now let's look at the average price 311 and change in terms of average price up 3% on last year 96.3% sale to list price ratio staying pretty much steady for like every month so far really uh, number of houses sold was 296 when we look at houses that were active of 1952 now here's the good news on the properties that we sold we are up 15% on February 2017 and we're up 23% on last month so we thought January was pretty good and now we're sitting here saying we're up 23% basically on last month. So when we look at the areas now that are the driving force of numbers one, two and three in terms of volume, we have um, Timberlay St. Margaret's Bay first with uh, 26 sales and eight months of inventory on the market. So a little bit higher than the five to seven months balance, we're talking eight, so they're more of a buyer. Then we've got number two coming in strong, Bedford again, uh, 8.3 months of inventory on the market. So not necessarily influenced too much by the new homes builds in there. Um, and then third is Sackville. So still the same kind of top one, two, three. Every now and again, we get another one that jumps in there, but those are still our top selling markets. And Sackville is at 8.1 months. So if those guys are all at 8 point something months and we're at 6.6 .6 months on average, it means that all the other markets are basically overperforming and having a much, much better inventory. So highest one on there, unfortunately, is Waverley Fall River Oakfield at 12.2 months. That's my home area. Uh, but the one thing we do like is 74 days on market, which is pretty handy. We're more than happy with that one. Um, now, when we look at some of the areas, so basically list them all off. They're all Dartmouth communities. So we've got Eastern Passage, 3.4 months. We've got uh, Forest Hills, 2.3 months. We've got Colby, 5.4 months. We've got Portland Estates, 3.2 months. And then we jump back onto the other side and we look at Clayton Park and Rockingham, which is just in between Bedford and Halifax area. And they're at 6.7 months, so they're balanced. Now, those are the biggest selling markets, really, that we've actually got around here in terms of volume. So it's good that we can see all of this and we can actually say, okay, so what does that mean for Halifax area? It means that we are a balanced market. No favor to the buyer, no favor to the seller. We have a very good average selling price at 311 and a little bit of money. We have 87 days on market, so we're under three months when properties actually go on the marketplace and actually get sold. And it's just generally all around good news. And you know, certainly from my point of view, you know, January and February and some of March so far are looking very, very promising. Like it's just a good, solid, busy market. And I think people have finally understood that Halifax is a great place to live and people are starting to trade normally. And we're actually seeing a lot of immigration come back into the stream uh, and immigration, the sort of relocation from within as well. You know, it's been uh, it's been a busy couple of months, so it's all good news. Now, if you want to know anything about the Halifax market or buying or selling or investing in properties, then just give me a shout, richard at richardpain.ca or you can phone me 902-489-1804.